We took a look earlier at how to utilize uh, a TLP058 logic probe to look at the uh, SPI data. Well, I'm currently still running that um, same test, but I want to see how many times uh, a certain data packet appears. And we have a cool feature called search, which I'll go through in a minute. So we have um, various different things that we can search on. So an event like an edge trigger, uh, a runt, um, a setup and hold, but we are more interested in bus. So automatically selects bus one, which is the SPI bus, which we're looking at here. And we want to mark on a particular data. So I'll pick a random, uh, let's say zero A. So that's the binary section, but we're doing it in hex. A turns from the first digit to the second digit, B selects which digit. So we're gonna go zero, and then we're gonna go A. So just turn the multifunction knob, and there's zero A. Already, my search is starting to produce some events. So if I open up that a little bit further, and I'll do a single acquisition, and there was no event in that particular acquisition, so let's try that again. Okay, so there's two acquisitions. There's one acquisition there. So if I to, I can use the zoom, and that actually then zooms straight to the one event, zero A. If this particular data packet was really important to me and I wanted to trigger on that, then there's a really quick, nice shortcut that we can utilize. Tap in the search. We have two options at the bottom copy trigger settings to search, which we don't need or want at this moment, or copy search settings to trigger, which is what we are interested in. So just by pressing that, you'll notice the trigger at the moment is set to a, just a positive edge. If I press this, it's now changed over to bus one SPI searching for a certain data, which is zero A. So if I then want to do a single shot, as you can see there, I'll just unzoom from the previous search and I'll resume. Now on the trigger, so T for trigger, there we go. So data zero A, and we've now triggered on the packet of interest.